What's up, y'all? It's your girl, it's Mendez. If you're new to my channel, hi. What's up? But yeah, today I will be talking about how I got my job at Tropical Smoothie Cafe, the hiring process, the interview process, how it is. But I'm still new. We're still training. We have grand opening this Friday. So yeah, so let's get into this video, y'all boys. Okay, so I believe it was July the 23rd, 22nd, 23rd. It was July 22nd. I called, okay, I called the one in Abercorn Street, already hiring the Montgomery one that is hiring because that's the brand new one that's opening. So they say, yes, they hiring. I asked what... How do I apply? And they said to apply on Harry. And I'll put that down. But yeah, so they told me to apply on Harry. The next day, it was just, I didn't really have nothing to do. I'm an early bird. So I was up at like 6, 6 o'clock. I, I applied around 6.40 something or 6.30. I don't know because that's around the time my mama leave for work. But I applied and maybe two or three hours later two or three hours later i have an interview and i was like for real and i was, I was so surprised i was like dang <laughs> but yeah y'all so they said i could choose the time but the interview but i was like it really didn't give me a set time to choose I was set date to choose. It just gave me that next day, unless I couldn't make that day. And it was, it was a Friday, so the interview was on a Saturday. So I applied. Not really applied. I'm sorry, y'all. So I picked my time, talked to my grandma because she's my transportation. To, because yeah, yeah. So she was like, "Go ahead and pick a time." Just saying third. So I picked my time. I believe my time was win something see i didn't tell my friends or anything that i got an interview because it's like every time i get my hopes up i think i get a job i didn't get it because i applied for chick-fil-a had five almost five interviews with them they was just pulling me on this and there with other people but i decided not to say anything to nobody really and went to the interview First thing, they was impressed by my granddad truck. Like, they loved that truck, that white Tundra. But yeah, so they like that. I taught them. I was very enthusiastic. I had so much enthusiasm, whatever the word is. Yeah, so I was happy, smiling, even though I had a mask on. Told them how many community service hours I had. I have over 100 hours in community service. I told them all that. I told them which one I did. I told them what I want to be after. What I want to do after high school. I told them that. And they really love me. The girl, the, not the girl, but my, the man, the general manager was like, yes, I love this. I love this. And she was like, she had asked the district manager, was like, you think we should hire? I'm going ahead and hire her. And she was just like, writing stuff down, circling with orientation stuff. And I was like, hold on, I got the job? And she was like, yes. And y'all should have saw me behind that mask, bro. I was jumping, I was jumping up and down inside because like, wow. And I was telling her how much I make smoothies on my own at the house and stuff like that. So they was impressed by that as well. So like, uh, I, they sent me all the stuff, the documents and stuff to fill out. Then I think a day later, they asked if some people want to do early training. And I said, yeah, I'll do it. I start. they said pick Monday or Tuesday. I picked Tuesday. I read the book, and then I saw we couldn't have acrylic nails, and I was like, <laughs> I had just got my nails done. First time getting my nails done, but I took them off. So I didn't want to get in trouble with my first job, this, that. So, but at the same time, you just not have them long nails. You can have, 
not really have the nails but you can't just have neutral colors not that loud pink neon stuff that's you can noticeable like it pops at you you can't have all that and i was like dang but i understand what the um nails because nails you messing with blenders you throwing the blend not really throwing the blenders you gotta grab it this you i'm a crew member so crew member does almost e well everything you can you make it full sometimes drive through doing prep uh making sure that the temperature is right in the um that the um the water level the sanitation taking out trash making sure the bathroom is right and like doing the uh, like the temperature ga gauges and stuff make sure all the fruits and meats and stuff are at a temperature that you can eat like healthy like you, it's not going bad stuff like that so yeah so yeah okay so i got the job hired on the spot okay i did um we have a little apron i did my a little um when we went there for orientation we couldn't really do anything because our aprons didn't come in from the mail or whatever because they ordered some more for us and stuff our visors wasn't there stuff like that but we had to get out a name tag she showed us how to clock out clock in stuff like that so next day come we train and making smoothies learn how things go it took me a good minute yeah i still have some more working to do but overall i have that smoothie thing i so yeah my favorite smoothie is the bahama mama and you, for the blenders and stuff, you got a special blender, peanut allergies and stuff. Pe anything that have peanut butter and stuff like that, almonds, has to go in an orange blender. And do you have the regular clear blenders for any other smoothies and stuff like that? So, yeah, it was a good experience, stuff like that. I did uh, two weeks of early training. Now we're doing our little last training this week before the grand opening. So far, I love it. I, I really love it. We get a 50% discount. Woo, I love that because that, that would come in handy. Like, yeah, our stuff get dirty. Don't, okay, the second, my third day or second day, I was on smoothie finish. I waste about two or three smoothies on me. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. But they was like, don't be embarrassed because that happens to everybody. So, yeah. Got my little hats. Y'all want to see me put it on? I'm put it on. Got my little hot. Uh, okay, but I lost my name tag, maybe. I lost the little pineapple um mask the first, second day. They gave me another one. Lost the back of my name tag. It's my magnetic. Lost that, got another one. At the new place, we keeping it on the freezer because the outside of the freezer is magnetic. So, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. So, yeah, it, it, I really like it. Interview. Um, snappy, I like that. And it, it's like, it's like, wow. After everything, all them interviews, stuff I applied for, people call me for stuff. Tropical smoothie. I got it like that. And I was like. Oh, let me tell y'all. She tried to get me to train on drive through the second day. And I was like, no, I'd rather do smoothie. She was like, what all that does it? What all that energy? I was like, I'm going to have to get breaking out my shell. But, I, but my last week of training, I did do drive through. I'm very comfortable with it. Ish. I did the money part, not the tapping in the stuff, the order, ringing up the orders because doing the orders, it not really confused me, but I, I guess I get overwhelmed or whatever and stuff like that. So yeah, y'all, it, it, it really is a good place to work. And if we going off to college, uh, it could transfer us to that place if they have it we have companies in 
Ooh, not Arizona. Ooh, not Alaska. <laughs> Alabama, Arkansas, excuse me, Georgia, Florida, Texas. I believe it's somewhere else, but yeah. Avalcorn beats Florida. Yeah. I really love it. It's, it's a wonderful job for you, for your, especially for your first job. So yeah, y'all yeah, guys, I, I really love it. So thank you for watching, tuning in. So have a good day, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Share, 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 share to your friends, family, roaches, best friends, bugs, everything. Just share it. Peace, y'all.